Well, let's talk about that uh, that outcome at Chico. Uh, now, you guys lost to Chico right early in the season, and so you kind of get that revenge and on that uh, home court. But uh, uh, talk about uh, how important was it to, to get a win against the rival and honestly uh, in the standings? Uh, it was huge. It was huge for us. We needed that win. We wanted that win. We wanted to force them to get their first loss on their home court. That was big for us. And like every game in the CC2A, it's always a big matchup, a big game. And so it definitely helps us just one win at a time, just do the best we can. You know, obviously the, the win losses, we've definitely seen a difference, especially in conference play. And you had that had that difficult road trip of late. And uh, uh, But what, what has been you know, defense. I know you guys had a tough preseason schedule, but once conference play started, you guys uh, started to get a, get on that on that roll. So, what what have you seen that has been, you know, the difference maker for you guys? It's absolutely our defense. That's something that we always focus on executing the scout. And so, in games where we haven't done so well, it's it's honestly it's our defense that we have to fall back on and. It's something that we always focus on every game, whether it was Chico, whether it was UC San Diego. Maybe we didn't do such a good job in UC San Diego, but better in Chico. And so we have to focus on that consistency on the defensive end because that's what gives us our product. It's not so much putting the shots in, which is as in, which is still important, don't get me wrong, but it's that defensive end and executing the scout. What have you heard, say, after the games, or maybe opposing teams or what, but Obviously, you guys. I mean, if we, you would have probably pulled coaches and fans to say that Humboldt State women's basketball be where you guys are at in the standings. I don't know if a lot of people would have did that, but have you seen a people are like, wow, the Humboldt State, you know, is for real this season. They're gonna, you know, give it all. Do you feel like, you know, think things have changed, especially uh, for this season? What do you mean? I, I mean, I mean, I, I guess from the standpoint that uh, you know, obviously, Coach Ben Jackson first year last year, and now mm -hmm. this year the. Uh, Four players, kind of, you know, under uh, you know her, her system, but the, you guys, in the standings wise, I mean, you guys are showing that you can compete, and it's you know, humble state is not going to be that hey, that easy game, but uh, you guys are going to give it a battle from start to finish, uh, and it's showing right now in the standings. So, do you kind of kind of see there's like a, a, a different uh, there's like a difference when you know facing teams or maybe even after just kind of the, the talk. I don't know if it's difference. We have always played with that toughness and that grit, and that's kind of always been our MO, but we're gonna give everyone a fight, and that's regardless of whatever they think of us. They can think that we're supposed to be last or supposed to be first or whatever. We're gonna give them a fight to the finish. We're gonna punch them in the face in the start, and we're gonna punch them in the face at the end. And so for me, it's, I. I don't know that it's really a difference. I think we have more confidence, and I think that we've done a better job um, defensively working together and having that flow um, in terms of working together. That's what I would say our biggest difference is. Um, a, a win uh, against Chico, momentum, and everything else, but just handing the team its first loss uh, on its home mm -hmm. court and kind of moving forward as you guys continue uh, on the road. But. Uh, uh, Right now, I mean, have to be playing like uh, on a high sense, it's just like things are well, but how do you kind of take that and move forward for these, what, nine or 10 uh, conference games? Good isn't good enough where better is expected. <laughs> so for me, it's not, Chico is good, but we have to do better there. It wasn't a perfect game for us. And so for us, this practice, it's Chico's done. It's Cal State LA, it's Dominguez Hills. But first of all, it's Cal State LA. We're not even thinking about Dominguez Hills. We're gonna go over there and we're gonna give them a, a fight. And so it's great coming off of a win and it was important, but now it's time to move on and it's time to refocus on giving them the absolute same grit, the same spirit that we gave in Chico to serve them the same loss at their home court. So what's gonna take against LA on a Friday to, to put another win up there? Defense, defense, defense. Mm -hmm. It's it's gonna be executing the scout and doing exactly what we need to do, working together, communication, those kinds of things will help us give us momentum uh, offensively as well. And so that's what we'll focus on. The best other teammates, but where did you at what part in the season did you guys really start to believe? I mean obviously you start seeing results, you start seeing the wins. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel like where things were really starting to, to click for you guys? I always think back to the Western Oregon game. We we lost that 
that game there at the end, but for us it was important because that was the first time I thought that we really came together and we really fought together and played well together for 40 minutes, especially defensively. And, and from then on, I think it kind of clicked, like, okay, here we go, Humboldt State, we're not, we're not going to lose anymore. We're going we're gonna to give people a fight, and we're going to give it for 40 minutes. How exciting is this? Now, you're a senior mm-hmm. now, and now for, I mean, you're competing for uh, a regular season conference title. And uh, uh, how exciting is that, um, you know, obviously taking one game at a time, but just, you know, what's something that, that you can achieve? Just, I'm sure winning obviously helps, but uh, as a senior to kind of experience this right now, how is it for you? It's incredible. It's bittersweet for sure. Um, more bitter because obviously at the end of at the end of all of this, I I will be finished playing. But to get to finish it out with these girls and to get to chip away one game at a time and give everybody a fight and honestly, nothing compares to playing with these girls on this team. Talk about your role uh, on this team. Um, I know uh, everybody. Uh, on the court, you want to score points on defense, but when you, you, you when you're on the court, what do you consider yourself that you did your job? I consider myself a, a good defensive player. I try and stay in my lane on offense, but defensively, I try and be everywhere I can, be in the right spot at the right time. Um, when you're late on defense, that it's either a foul or a bucket, and so for me, my biggest thing is is not being late not getting that foul, not letting them get that bucket, um, and working together to help my teammates be in the same spot, talking about it, communicating, being loud on the court, kind of trying to hype everybody up at the same time. And so that, that's what I would say my role is. Uh, another question about you, and we'll act like the coach isn't in the room right now, but these last uh, year and a half, what has she meant to you in your game just uh, as a uh, basketball player? My game has completely transformed since Coach B has has been coaching for Humboldt State. I have improved my shot. I've improved my defense. I didn't think that I would know this much about basketball um, in a year and a half, and I could have only thought what would have happened if I had if she had been my coach for four years, how much better I could have been. But I am honestly absolutely thankful for this opportunity. Uh, I came in as a walk on my freshman year at Humboldt State and. Coach B gave me a chance that I didn't ever think I would see, and so for me, it it's meant the world to me. It's made my basketball experience. Thank you. Thank you.